Well, I am here with uh, Rashid Nalal. Uh, welcome to Who Gives a Hoot. No, pleasure to have you guys on board. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <clears throat> so today would be the, the first home game uh, out at Werner Park with Union Omaha. You know, something that every fan is looking forward to, something I know you guys are, are missing more than, more than probably any fan is uh, missing being at the game. What would be your typical day uh, getting, getting ready and uh, you know, getting out to, uh, to start the season um, at home? Um, so, like, my game day rituals, basically wake up in the morning, have breakfast, go back to bed, hang around, then start listening to hip-hop rap, like, loudly. Then after that, just go to the locker room, listen to Afro beats, and just kind of, like, stay focused and re stay relaxed before game time. Yeah, so for me, just like Rashid, for the early parts of the day, I just get my breakfast in and talk to my friends back home, get a laugh, you know, joke about stuff. Then when it's, when it's getting close to game time, I just do my music, you know, listen to music, Afro beats, dance hall, because I want to get hyped up. So I'm excited for the game. Now, as far as uh, no specific uh, hip hop artists, uh, specific Afro beats artists, anybody that you guys both Find, are we able to share with each other or ones that you're, you're big fans of both? Um, well, I think I got him into hip hop. <laughs> but for Afro Beats, yeah, we share that because it's big in Ghana. So we definitely like, share that. Yeah, yeah so for him, I wasn't a big fan of hip hop, but Rashid has got me into <laughs> hip hop. And I think I'm a big fan of Young Tag already. <laughs> <laughs> I hope by the end of the year, I'm able to know like five songs of Young Tad, so. Well, you know, I feel like Rashid probably got a little bit of that at Fordham. Uh, you know, picked up a lot of that in New York with the, the hip-hop. So it's, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can, uh, at the end of the season, we'll hit you up and see, see the, what your playlist looks like now. But, yeah. uh, so Ghana with a long footballing tradition, you know, um, Rashid, we're going to hear in you know, a week or two about how uh, how you got your your start. Alal, what what was your uh, what was your experience that led you up to becoming a pro footballer? Yeah, so Ghana has a big football tradition. So everyone like plays on the street. You grow up playing soccer without cleats. We get money together to buy like a soccer ball. So we play around the house. Take it. Then when we grow older, we take you to the big field, join a club team then hopefully you go from there if you are good enough. So I started playing with bare feet, went to the bigger field and joined an academy, then ended up in college. Then from there, I joined Union Omaha. So that's so, how I So you mentioned uh, kicking, kicking the ball around the house. Is that literally inside the house? And did your mother ever get mad at you for breaking anything? Yeah. Like inside the house or around the neighborhood, they don't want <laughs> to play suck at all. So... But that's how we started, because we're not old enough to go to the field. Yeah. So Ghana is not like here that like they have organized soccer kids play. Yeah. Like only the old enough guys are able to use the field, unless you join like a proper team. But when you are young, you just play around your house, and hopefully, you, when you are older, you can go to the field too. Well, you know, with uh, with here, this being our first year with a pro team. Uh, this means a lot to uh, soccer fans around having you know players from from all over the globe, and Ghana with such a such a great football tradition, um, you no, know, absolutely great football team, uh, nat nationally and you know great Premier League. You guys coming in here as pro, what what's something you want to uh, relay to uh, to the fans here in Omaha uh, about you know soccer, football in general, or you know what what you're bringing to the table um for me i'll just say like just the passion we have for the game because growing up is it was our goal to like become professionals and we are here doing it and we just gonna show the fans how passionate we are to represent union omaha so just excited to be here yeah so i think it's 
something we can relate to. So like in Ghana, even when we play around the community, you get a lot of people who are like basically your friends and family people you know around sharing on you and we play like a community league. So we're just going to bring the same energy here. When we, when we step on the field, we're trying to give everything for like you, like Omaha and everything about it, you know? So. That, that's definitely something we, we like to hear. Now, since you both are roommates, I, I can see the microwave and the oven behind you. Which one of you is the better cook? Lol, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, you, do you agree? Do you, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what, what's the best thing he's made? Uh, rice, chicken, fried plantains, you know, almost everything he makes is good. See, so Rashid, are you you're gonna now start start cooking for all the fans? Uh, I don't know about all the fans, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll be happy to like cook some Ghana dish just for the fans to try so they, they know what, what food we eat, you know. Something. Well, I, I hear I hear some big uh, big talk from some of the other players that they're the best uh, best chef on the team. Yeah, so, they're talking about making pancakes, but we all can do that, that, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's probably got to be a story of who's the worst cook on the team. Who's the worst cook on the team? Probably Xavier, I think. <laughs> I think it's Xavier, you know. That that's no, he he's a he's a fan favorite here because he's you know played his four years in Omaha. Yeah. So it's good to know that he's a he's got at least one flaw, you know, he maybe can't cook. <laughs> yeah, he can't. I think that's his fault. Okay, okay. No, so um with with the team being so so rooted in the community as shown with the jerseys you know giving giving back to the community has that really resonated with both of you um you know coming into this season coming into this club yeah um giving back is one of the things like professional players that make it out of ghana to come back to their communities and give back because living ghana as a professional is like a privilege and we have young ones that look up to us even the elder ones kind of appreciate what we do, like living and coming back and show appreciation to like, our communities because it's always about a community. Without a community, we probably wouldn't have the chance to leave Ghana. So it's something we've always like have in mind. So seeing Union Omaha helping like CHI, ne Nebraska Med, like is really something like I really, really like about the club. Just showing appreciation to the first responders, nurses, doctors, for like helping everyone and during this pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna add a little bit to what you said. So relating to our community is very good, and we like giving back to our community. So when I came in for preseason, like the staff made emphasis on Blackstone and how the community are very big uh, on the team and how like. We probably have the the most season ticket holders so far. So that hit me a lot. And we also have like a Blackstone district on our in, on the side of our slate. So like that stood up for me because I think it's great playing for something and playing for people like where you live because I had an apartment is in Blackstone. So being able to represent them on the field, I think it's great. Oh, another time. I need to hear why. I don't know what just happened there. 
<laughs> we we were still recording. Yeah, so just to add a little bit about being involved in the community. So when I came in for preseason, the staff made mention of how important like the Blackstone district and the whole of Omaha like are excited about this team. That stood up for me because I like playing for Sam. So to be able to know that like people are looking forward to seeing me on the field and I always want to give back to people who support me. So like being able to play for the Omaha and like Blackstone district is really big for me because, and we also have like the Blackstone district on the sleeve. So yeah, so that's pretty cool to be able yeah. to connect with the community and the fans. So I like that. No, it, that makes us super excited to hear, you know, that you guys are, are excited to play for, for Omaha. Uh, you know, hopefully we get to see you out there real soon and, you know, see, See Rashid stop a, a lot of goals. Uh, see you uh, make some great saves, some great great assists. Uh, you know, all, all great tackles. Uh, no, we we're gonna see you guys out there and gonna be cheering louder than ever. So appreciate you taking the time today. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. Thank you. Uh,